Well, you know, some kids are resilient and some kids are just superstars. Olivia Bennett was diagnosed with cancer at the age of five, but found a way to express herself through art. And now she's in her 20s. Olivia is here to talk about how she is giving back to the very cause that gave her her first artistic inspiration. Good morning, Olivia. Good morning. Great to be here. Great, great to have you here. Thank you. You were five years old when you were diagnosed with leukemia. Do you remember receiving that diagnosis? Very well. I went in for my kindergarten checkup and they said your blood work looks a little off. Let's, you know, test you for mono and these different things. And they came back about a week later and said, let's get you in for chemotherapy. And I started treatment from there. So very intense. I mean, just overnight, you know, my world changed. I would imagine that your world, do you remember what emotional reactions you had hearing that diagnosis? Were you even able to process it? You're five years old. Yes and no. I mean, I think more so I picked up on the vibes from my parents and friends and just um, luckily the doctor's office you know where I was treated in Salt Lake City was wonderful and just very you know they made that process as easy as they could but it was you know horrible yeah I can only yeah. imagine but still through that diagnosis you had a lot of time on your hands and you used that time to really kind of express yourself through some of your art and you have a couple of your very early pieces that you did over here yeah you these know? these two this one I didn't even date I was so young I think I was six or seven six my, or seven one years of my old my first watercolors and then this one I was probably about eight um, wow. and these are private ones that my mom's had at home forever but yeah I always always loved it, it was you know started out as a hobby really young just in coloring books and then evolved especially when I was going through cancer home for two years just going through treatment it was a release it was that emotional outlet that I needed so you needed that and you were able to use that in I it did. and I find that it's really interesting too because this is these are beautiful things this is not these are not dark images right. that we're seeing here no I really wanted to paint positive happy things you know joyful things there was I was going through such a dark time that I needed that you know that constant Mm -hmm. yeah. You needed that, that positive visual, energy. That positive energy, exactly. That peaceful thing. And, and I still try to incorporate that in my work today. Let's look at some of these paintings right yes. here because they are, they're so colorful. They're Thank so beautiful. You. And when you were a child and you were going through your recovery, do you think that the images, the colors, um, that positive energy that you were talking about, do you think that that affected your ability to overcome cancer? I think so. I think, I think even today, you know, just looking at something beautiful, it just kind of gets into your soul. And that's, that's what I try to paint for people because I think to have that constantly you know, in the back of your mind to see that every day. It's just good for you. Well, let's look just at this particular painting right here, the butterflies. What is it, I mean, I know obviously the butterflies inspire you, but when do you have those moments? Or is there a moment that you can define when you say, this is what I want to paint? I get those inspirational, you know, kind of like a lightning bolt. Something will just hit me and I, you know, I just have to get it out on paper. It drives me crazy until I do. So different things, you know, traveling. I try to travel as much as I can for inspiration and you know, just it's the little things, and that's yeah. what I enjoy. Yeah, well, that's beautiful. And you've Thank got something. You. What's exciting too is I love people that are willing to also give back. Well, and so you're in the process of, of of doing an event coming up very very soon this weekend, as a matter of fact, right. to help the very cause that assisted you with your initial inspiration. Tell yes. us about it. We're doing an event um, this Saturday to benefit Leukemia and Lymphoma at my gallery in South Lake Town Square. So mm -hmm. it's going to be wonderful. We've got um, silent auction. Omni Hotels have been wonderful and given us some great silent auction packages. And then I'm going to be raffling off this painting. Actually, we're oh. selling. This one right here? This one. We're doing a limited edition um, piece. It's valued at $1,800. We're raffling off $10 a ticket. And the money, 100% of it goes to Leukemia Lymphoma Society, which will be great. So, And then we'll just have, you know, it's going to be a fun evening. We've got lots of great sponsors and food and hors d'oeuvres. It's just going to be a lot of fun. Well, you truly are an inspiration. Well, thank you. Thank you thank very you. much for so being here. I feel so blessed to do what I love. You know, it's, yeah. it's been wonderful. Well, it's a blessing, and you've blessed us in the process. Thank, thank you, you so much. And once again, Olivia will be hosting a gallery night to benefit the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society at the Olivia Bennett Art Gallery in South Lake, Texas, and that's this Saturday, April 10th from 6.30 to 9.30. And for more information, you can call 817-416-8618.